Now to a story you won't see anywhere else this morning. End of life planning can now include deciding what happens to your social media accounts when you die. CBS's John Diaz explains how to set up your digital legacy. Facebook was created in 2004, Twitter in 2006, Instagram in 2010, and TikTok in 2016. Nearly 20 years of social media means two decades of information, pictures, and videos uploaded for countless to see. Millennials have been around for all of it. This stuff can outlive you uh, in ways that tangible stuff might not. It used to be family photo albums and old tax returns and stuff that you would leave in boxes. Which is why Mitch Mitchell of the company Trust and Will says millennials are starting to think about what will happen to their digital legacy upon death. Some are now designating a particular person to control it. Something like three quarters of millennials are naming a digital executor. The people you leave behind will have to have to figure out, okay, well, did they want these photos to, to be left? Uh, or did they want to delete them? His company's new estate planning study, which surveyed 20,000 millennials, discovered the generation is 29% more likely than the older generations to want their emails, direct messages, and texts kept private from their family after death. In total, almost 40% want their social media accounts deleted altogether. Nearly 20% want them memorialized or preserved, and the rest don't care what happens. We asked some millennials what they think. It might be something to consider. I would pass it along to my sister. I want it to just be locked and dead, and whatever's in there can stay in there. I don't need people going through my old, you know, messages. I think that can go really bad if someone gets a hold of your social media account. While Facebook allows you to choose a legacy contact who would control your page, for Instagram, pages can be removed or memorialized by verified family members with proper proof upon death. But Mitchell warns if you don't change the settings, or provide passwords to your loved one, depending on the platform, things could end differently than what you would want. If you don't say what happens to it, then the default terms of service of the service that you use will apply. So while millennials may be the first digitally native generation, they're also some of the first planning for their digital end. From Huntington, Long Island, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Just another thing to think oh, about. I never thought of that. Yeah. Who am I going to leave my Instagram account? <laughs>